Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, in today's episode, uh, we are going to talk about a uh, chemical that is found in um, uh, some common coin preservation products such as flips, albums, and that, that chemical is called PVC. Okay. First and foremost, uh, PVC re really is rarely found in newer products these days. A lot of these bigger companies that are dishing out um, uh, coin preservation material, 2 by 2s albums, uh, they know about the chemical and what harm it does to these coins. Specifically, um, copper, for example. You know, it has a very uh, reactive um, thing going on with copper that's the strongest over silver and gold, but it affects all metals. Uh, PVC stands for polyvinyl chloride, okay, is a, the chemical name for it. And um, it's typically found in older albums. It's found in these uh, the soft flips. Um, plus, also everyday common household goods such as shower curtains. You know, shower curtains gives off that distinguishing smell of PVC, and that's gonna be one of the things that you're gonna um, kind of sniff for when you're uh, buying coins you know uh in in these old flips especially you guys that that have dealt with private parties and and folks that don't typically buy and sell and trade coins uh so pvc is extremely reactive to coins uh especially if it's um had some prolonged kind of uh, uh contact with the the album in question i actually have a great example here i bought a um a 20 plus year old, 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 old Canadian Small Sense album. It's actually manufactured by a company in Canada. I think they are still in business today. Okay, and to give you an idea of what PVC soft material would look like, if you look at this first page, it's got a sweaty look and it's extremely soft. You know, it's not as rigid as Mylar, which is what you're going to see in a lot of the newer product, which is a little bit more brittle. So, as you can see, it's stuck to this cardboard informational sheet right there. And um, the inside interior pages looks like this. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And it's very soft. You can really tell it's got the wrinkles. And it's got that, um, that trademark scent. Kind of that shower curtain, sweet smelling kind of nastiness. Um, PVC is typically used in plastics to make it softer and less brittle. That's why P the, that's why it was so widely used during the 70s, 80s, and 90s, especially in coin products. I took this example out here to show you what PVC might look like now. Let's see if I'm going to be able to get into this to show you PVC in its earliest stages will exhibit a uh, greenish grayish skin okay now you can really see it on the obverse of uh, this one right here there you go right on George's portrait now not so much the black stuff that's just black stuff but there's a grayish greenish skin on there now if you hold the coin just so like this Okay, kind of angled against it. You can see it real well, especially on silver. I'm going to treat this one, and I'll show you how, how you guys do so. It's a really simple process. Now, it involves chemicals, and I'll forewarn you guys that make sure you're in a ventilated area. Uh, the chemical we're going to use today is acetone. In the, uh, um, the cleaning polarity process, okay, you, you want to try hot water first, and then acetone, and then xylene. Um, it goes from mild to wild is essentially what we're looking at here. And um, if you can, wear latex rubber gloves for this process. And um, this is the container we're using. It's a glass. I already put some in there. You either want to use glass or metal or maybe a ceramic, but do not use plastic. Do not use styrofoam because it's naturally going to eat right through that. And... Um, Make sure you stick with the hardware grade acetone. Do not use the um, nail polish remover or the ones that they use for uh, 
Um, let's see, for uh, like airbrushing, you know, that's a little bit more diluted down. The um, mix, diluted down mix, the, uh, the nail polish remover is going to have fragrances. So especially if you're doing higher grade coins, not a great idea. So stick with the hardware grade. We're going to take our coin, put it in there. The process will take generally about a minute, and then we're just going to simply slosh it around. Now there's a misconception about the whole cleaning thing, okay? This is conservation, this is treating, okay? It's by no means cleaning because I'm not a pressing, I'm not um, uh, putting any sort of friction on the coin by way of cloth or uh, sponge or brush, okay? There's a difference. This will si simply take off the surface contaminants, um, and that's what we want because PVC over a long haul like if I would have left all these coins in here for the next 10-15 years it's actually going to develop green blobs that eat right into the coin and then at that stage it's too late to save so slosh it around for a good minute I don't have any gloves so I'm being very careful I mean it's not going to burn but it's got a cooling sensation but at the same time it's your skin Okay, it'll absorb any chemical that it contacts with. So, be careful. Have doors open because it's got a very strong scent to it. Uh, so, for all you young folks out there that aren't familiar with this chemical compound, it, it has a really strong odor. Uh, so, that's how that works. That coin should be treated. All of these will be treated, even though they're, uh, there's no big dollars dollar makers and the, the Canadians here. In fact, all the key date ones are missing. So, not a bad pickup for $2, but that's how you treat PVC. That's what PVC is. If you have any questions about, um, about anything that I've uh, talked about here today, please do not hesitate to uh, send me a message, comment below. Uh, thanks again, guys, for, uh, you know, being faithful followers. And, uh, I'm looking forward to the summer. We got some shows happening um, here very shortly. Next week is Santa Clara. And as you guys know, I'm going to be taking part in the uh, World's Fair of Money in Chicago this year. I'm a, uh, actually a senior researcher for a coin show radio program uh, podcast. So that's kind of exciting. And um, yeah, I'm taking part in this event. And, um, you know, again, thanks guys for listening. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Have a good one.